Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on Navier-Stokes equations for Newtonian fluids. So, uh, we had uh, discussed about the conservation equations, we discussed about the equation for the momentum, uh, continuity and also about the energy. So, especially in if you look at the uh, momentum uh, conservation equation or the energy equation, uh, we had the x momentum or y momentum or z momentum equations then you had the energy equation. In all these equations what you see that uh, you come across the viscous stresses term. So, um, uh, the governing equations of momentum and energy they contain uh, unknown viscous stresses terms that is tau x x tau x y you know uh, tau x z or x y or so. So, now uh, these need to be uh, you know expressed in a measurable manner and uh, they are basically expressed as the uh, function of local deformation rate uh, or the strain rate. So, so in that case the uh, equations uh, will have something by which you can, so you can do the experiment, you can measure those strain rates and further you can calculate the uh, values. So, those stresses are basically uh, expressed in terms of these uh, strain rates. So, uh, Mostly uh, what we do is uh, normally uh, when we uh, talk about uh, the uh, three dimensional flows in that the uh, local rate of deformation is composed of linear deformation rate as well as the uh, volumetric deformation rate. And uh, if you talk about the uh, linear deformation uh, rate of the fluid, it has uh, 9 components out of which uh, 6 are independent. Uh, for the isotropic uh, fluids. So, they are normally denoted by S i j. So, that is uh, the uh, I mean uh, linear deformation terms and uh, their suffix i j will have similar uh, meaning the way we uh, try to even uh, define for the stress terms. So, in that only we are also uh, defining them. So, if you talk about the uh, you know uh, linear uh, uh, terms, so you will have uh, the linear, so you will have a linear elongating deformation components. So, they are the uh, three, so those three are basically uh, the S x x s y y and s z z. So, their values are uh, dou u by dou x s x x is then s y y is dou v by dou y and uh, s z z will be dou w by dou z. Now, you have um, uh, apart from that. So, as you had uh, we saw that we have uh, 9 components. So, you have uh, uh, 6 shearing also components. So, shearing uh, linear uh, deformations uh, components. So, uh, they will be you know when, so in the S i j when i equal to j, so that will be linear uh, elongating deformation component and then you have uh, shearing linear deformation components. So, in that uh, you will have uh, the uh, you know s x y or s y x you can have and they are normally uh, defined by half of dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou x. Similarly, you have s x z or s z x they will be half of dou u by dou z plus dou w by dou x and accordingly s y z or s z y 
they will be half of dou v by dou z plus dou w by dou y. So, this way you have uh, the uh, 9 you know uh, strand rate uh, linear uh, deformation rate components. Uh, so, uh, then these are deformation components. Then we have the uh, you know volumetric uh, deformation and volumetric deformation will be uh, defined by. So, that will be uh, dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus uh, dou w by dou z. So, that will be uh, dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou z. So, so that way uh, that is also can be that can be represented by dive u. So, um, uh, so what is uh, seen uh, that uh, these are the uh, strain uh, components this will be required in our uh, coming studies. So, uh, if we talk about the uh, Newtonian fluid now in the Newtonian fluid the viscous stresses are proportional to the uh, rates of uh, deformation. So, uh, as we have understood earlier also that uh, uh, they will be related to that rates of deformation. And uh, the in the three dimensional form of the Newton's law of viscosity for uh, compressive flows, you will have uh, two constants of proportionality comes. You know we talked about the Newton's law of viscosity and we saw that there the uh, proportionality term is coming that is uh, coefficient of viscosity. Now, in this case uh, when we talk about the uh, compressive flows, compressible flows in those case we deal with two constants of proportionality and uh, that is mu and lambda. So, mu is known as the dynamic viscosity which will where uh, it will be relating the stress to the linear deformation that is what we have seen in the case of Newton's law of viscosity earlier. But in the case of uh, uh, compressible flow you have a second term that is second viscosity lambda. So, this is uh, used for relating the stresses to the uh, volumetric deformation. So, this which is happening in the case of compressible flows. So, uh, you know uh, now this uh, uh, stress values uh, substitution of these stress values in the strain rate terms give rise to the Navier-Stokes equations and how that is uh, you know that we will see. So, what we uh, have seen that uh, since there are uh, you know these uh, two uh, you know lambda as well as mu these are the uh, constant of proportionality is used. And uh, if we define the uh, viscous stress components, so uh, you have the 9 viscous stress component tau x x tau x y tau x z tau y x y a y y z. So, altogether you have uh, the 9 viscous stress component which are encountered in the momentum as well as the uh, energy equations. Now, these uh, uh, components of the viscous stresses they can be expressed you know. Uh, so, they are uh, uh, expressed like in the term of uh, the lambda and mu and also the uh, deformation uh, uh, components. So, what you see is uh, tau x x it is uh, defined as 2 mu uh, dou u by dou x plus lambda dive u. So, um, uh, that is uh, you know dive uh, u. So, um, that is for the tau x x. Similarly, tau y y will be uh, 2 mu dou v by dou y plus lambda dive u and tau z z will be again 2 mu dou w by dou z plus lambda dive u. So, so that way we have these uh, three stress component and then uh, out of that you have uh, you know, uh, out of the 9 6 are independent. So, basically tau x y will be uh, taken as a tau y x and uh, this will be uh, mu times uh, dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou x. Similarly, uh, tau x z equal to tau z x. So, that will be mu times dou u by uh, dou z plus dou w by dou x and uh, tau x so y z or tau z y it will be uh, mu times 
डो वी बाई डो जेड प्लस डो डब्ल्यू बाई डो वाई सो दैट वे यू हैव दीज यू नो विस्कस स्ट्रेसेस विच आर देयर so they can be expressed in terms of these deformation components and uh, you know uh, these components so these components values when they so they, they these are uh, you know expressed in terms of strain rate and then when they are uh, uh, written for the uh, this momentum or the energy equation in terms of the strain rate terms so that was done by uh, independently by two scientists navier as well as stokes so that's why this equation which we obtain is known as the uh, navier stoke equations so uh, you know the term that is lambda so not much was known about uh, lambda earlier uh, but its effect is uh, said to be very very small as compared to mu and it is normally said to be about minus of 2 by 3 you know Uh, mu so lambda is said to be that is uh, you know said by uh, that is uh, basically suggested by slisting uh, so slisting was also a researcher and on his name there is a book also so um, he has suggested the value of lambda as minus of 2 mu by 3 uh, now uh, for the in incompressible flows so we know that dive u becomes uh, zero so that way uh, you have uh, uh, you know uh, accordingly you can have many meanings for the uh, incompressible fluids and then you will have uh, the, the terminologies <coughs> so once you uh, give substitute these values into the uh, momentum uh, equations x momentum z y or z momentum so uh, they will be having uh, the different form so when you substitute so what happens so you suppose you take the x momentum so it becomes do u by uh, do t now uh, that will be so you had the first term that is minus of do p by do x so that was as usual now we have the do by do x of tau xx so it will be do by do x of uh, tau xx we know it will be 2 mu do do u by do x plus lambda dive u so uh, this will be uh, the uh, first term uh, similarly you will have uh, do by do y of uh, you know tau xy so that will be uh, mu of uh, do u by do y plus do v by do x and similarly the third term will be do by do z uh, of do u by uh, so it will be mu times Uh, do u by do z plus do w by do x so this will be uh, the these are the three terms and then you had the source term that was sm x so this was the momentum uh, equation and uh, this is what uh, you get for the uh, you know x momentum equation similarly for the y momentum equation you get rho of dv upon dt so that will be minus of do p upon do y and then you have the uh, the terms will be coming like that so you will have do by do x of now you have uh, the uh, terms like mu of do u by do y plus do v by do x similarly in this term you will have do by do y of uh, this term will come to mu do v by do y plus lambda dive u so that term will be uh, there in the y term uh, y component and then you have the uh, this uh, third term will be uh, do by do z of uh, mu times uh, you know uh, do v by do z plus do w by do y so then and and then you will have the source term that is smy so this is the uh, equation for the uh, uh, y momentum and when you substitute uh, in the z momentum equation you will have the equation rho of uh, dw by dt so uh, this will be equal to minus of do p by uh, do z Uh, plus uh, do by do x of uh, you know mu times 
dou u by uh, dou z plus uh, dou w by dou x. Similarly, uh, dou by dou y of mu times uh, dou uh, v by dou z plus dou w by uh, dou y. And uh, then uh, you will have uh, the uh, dou by dou z times you will have uh, 2 mu uh, dou w by dou z plus lambda dive u. And, and then you will have the, uh, the source term in the, uh, for the uh, z component. So, that is, uh, this is uh, the, uh, these are the three equations which are the Navier-Stokes uh, equations because you have expressed these vis viscous stresses term uh, in the term uh, in the form of strain rate uh, you know terms. Now, uh, what we uh, see if you look at uh, these uh, terms, so if you take uh, any of these uh, uh, values, so we can uh, express them uh, you know uh, if you take uh, these many terms, if you take uh, uh, this term. So, uh, you can express that as uh, dou by dou x of uh, uh, dou u by dou x plus dou by dou y. Uh, uh, so, that will be mu times dou u by dou x plus uh, dou by dou y of mu times dou u by dou y plus dou by dou z of mu times dou u by dou z. So, that will be one term and there will be another term that will be separate and plus SMX. So, that we are basically uh, uh, writing as the source term. So, uh, if you take uh, this part and we can we write further. So, we are writing basically dou by dou x of uh, 2 times 2 mu dou u by dou x plus lambda dive u. So, that is uh, lambda dive u and uh, then uh, you had the uh, term dou by dou y of mu times uh, dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou x and then you have dou by uh, dou z uh, of uh, mu times dou u by uh, dou z plus dou w by dou x. So, if you try to write further uh, this equation that you can write as first you take uh, one of this term uh, together. So, it will be dou by dou x of mu dou u by dou x. Then you will have dou by dou y of mu dou u by dou y. Plus dou by dou z of mu dou u by dou z. So, that is what uh, you know uh, that is nothing but dive of uh, mu grad u. So, that is uh, uh, this is that term. Apart from that uh, now you are left with uh, you know other terminologies. So, this becomes equal to this. Now, you have other terms like dou by dou x of mu dou u by dou x then uh, you have uh, uh, the uh, dou by dou y of mu dou v by dou x. Similarly, you have dou y dou z of mu dou w by dou x and uh, you are left with term uh, dou by dou x of uh, lambda dive u. So, uh, so now within this uh, uh, term can be written as you can write uh, you know uh, so, this term will be uh, you know uh, dive of mu grad u. So, that will be uh, uh, this term and then a rest rest term you can uh, take in the bracket as S m x. So, so that way you have uh, taken these uh, uh, bracketed terms. So, this basically this bracketed term is uh, taken into uh, this uh, bracket. So, that is uh, the equation for uh, the uh, you know navier stokes equation in the x direction. Similarly, so, so then in that case you can write so, so it you, you are writing so that will be rho of d u 
So, this is basically rho of du by dt. So, that will be basically dive off. So, you will have term left is dou p by dou x it was in the earlier one. So, this is minus dou p by dx was left. So, that's, that terms uh, comes here and then you have dive of mu grad t mu grad u and uh, then you have s m x. So, this is the uh, you know never stroke equation for the axic momentum uh, you know uh, component. So, uh, so you have uh, you will have three equations uh, for the x y and z momentum. So, as uh, that is for the uh, x momentum and, and if you go for the y 1 uh, it will be rho of d v upon d t. So, that will be minus of dou p by dou y and uh, then plus dive of uh, mu grad u. So, that will be uh, you, that will be mu grad v and uh, then you will have s m y. So, uh, you know this is u and this is v and uh, the third term will be um, uh, for the z components rho of d w by dou t d t that will be minus of dou p by uh, dou z plus dive of mu grad w and uh, plus s m z. So, you have s m y, s m x and s m z these three equations you know they are the Navier Stokes equations and normally they are used for uh, you know while, while solu solving and uh, typically when we use uh, them for the uh, you know uh, using the finite volume method. Now, if you uh, go for the uh, you know uh, uh, energy equation also. So, in the uh, last class we had uh, discussed about the uh, energy uh, equations and for the energy equation uh, which we derived uh, we had uh, you know that time E will be uh, for the internal energy component I plus you have the kinetic energy that is half of u square plus v square plus uh, uh, w square. So, uh, accordingly you will have uh, the um, you know uh, the uh, terminology is coming for uh, that because the half of u square plus v square plus w square that uh, part for that you will have the u square uh, uh, term and uh, otherwise you have the for the uh, i term coming up. So, uh, you can use this uh, uh, the, I mean you can write the energy equation also. So, for that for the internal energy rho of d i by d t. So, that will also come as minus of rho dive uh, u and uh, plus uh, dive of uh, k grad t t and then uh, you have the uh, phi plus s i. So, uh, phi is uh, basically you are getting this uh, you know by the this is known as the dissipation function. So, this phi which is dissipation function it is basically mu times uh, you know uh, uh, 2 times uh, dou u by dou x square plus dou v by dou y square plus dou w by dou z square and then you are putting into the bracket and then you have uh, dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou x uh, square uh, plus uh, dou u by dou z plus dou w by dou x its square and further you have dou v by dou z plus uh, dou w by dou y square. So, this is uh, basically uh, the, this uh, these are the terms that will come under full bracket plus lambda uh, dive u that is square. So, that was uh, basically that you can get uh, when we are uh, you know uh, we are converting this e term into the two terms i plus uh, the uh, the other term that is for the half of u square plus v square plus w square. So, uh, actually that uh, this uh, might be uh, not clear to you Maybe I, uh, uh, that uh, you can understand uh, what we did uh, in our uh, you know while, while we, uh, we got for expression for the rho of uh, d e by d t. So, that was uh, you know uh, that was minus of 
dive row u and uh, then you had uh, the uh, terms like dou by uh, dou x of u tau x x then you have dou by dou y of uh, u tau uh, y x then dou by dou z of uh, u tau z x. So, that way uh, you got uh, all these uh, for, uh, terminologies like dou of dou by dou y of uh, v tau uh, you know uh, uh, so it was uh, x y then uh, dou by uh, that was dou x then you have dou by dou y of uh, v tau y y and uh, similarly dou by dou y of uh, v tau z y and then you have dou by uh, dou x of that time now now for the z component so w uh, tau that was uh, you know uh, x uh, uh, z so uh, you know uh, then uh, uh, you have uh, so then you have dou by dou y of uh, w so that uh, w will uh, come further tau y z and uh, dou by uh, dou z of w tau z z. So, this way you had uh, the uh, dou by uh, rho d by d t and then you had the term dive of k grad t and uh, you had the term S e. So, this was uh, the uh, energy equation which we derived. Now, in that basically what we take E, this E will be internal energy I term then and so that will be for the temperature and then you have the kinetic energy term that is half of u square plus v square plus w square. So, uh, what we do is normally uh, when we are uh, uh, separating so, you will have uh, the uh, terms for the kinetic energy and for that uh, uh, what we see that in, the, in that case you have uh, the uh, uh, multiplied terms of uh, u times uh, you know those, those terms. So, those terms will be with these half of u square plus v square plus w square. So, if you segregate it will be uh, for the one will be rho times d by dt of half of uh, u square plus v square plus w square and uh, one will be rho of uh, d i by d t. Now, uh, if you see uh, in, in this term, so uh, one will be for i which will be for the internal energy and that will be for, so that uh, we can take for the uh, temperature term and uh, so that though these terms will go uh, with that term, but uh, uh, for this. Uh, uh, the, you know for this part for of the half of u square plus v square plus uh, uh, w part that is kinetic energy part that will be uh, obtained by multiplying the u component with the x momentum. So, that can be understood that th this will be uh, basically u times uh, you know uh, uh, dou by dou x of uh, uh, tau x x similarly u times dou by dou, uh, dou y of uh, tau y x. So, all these terminologies uh, will be uh, coming for uh, uh, this expression and, and others will come with this. So, in that uh, and this will also be uh, you know uh, uh, divided in two terms. So, it will be minus of uh, u grad p and uh, uh, you know accordingly uh, and then you will have uh, uh, the terms like uh, you know, so this is basically p u and uh, you have uh, u times uh, dou tau x x by dou x plus uh, dou tau y x by dou y plus dou tau z x by uh, dou z. So, this will be uh, further you will have v times uh, the, the, the things will come here v times dou tau x y by dou x plus dou v times uh, uh, dou tau uh, y y by dou y and then similarly v times uh, dou tau z y by dou y. So, similarly uh, plus w times you will have these components basically they will be uh, coming uh, together. So, all these terms will uh, come uh, here and then you have uh, the u times the source term. So, these terms like you have uh, if you take v times. So, v times will be dou tau x y by dou x plus uh, you have uh, dou tau y y by dou y plus dou tau, uh, tau uh, 
uh, x z by x x. So, that is uh, uh, you know uh, that will be z uh, uh, y dou tau z y by dou y. So, similarly for w also these terms will come and if you take so that those components will be for the uh, uh, for that component for the uh, d of by dt of half of u square plus v square plus w square kinetic energy part and for the internal energy part you will have uh, other terms coming and for that you will have minus of rho dive u plus dive of k grad t this term will uh, come with the internal energy part and then uh, you will have uh, the uh, tau x x times dou u by dou x. Then uh, you have a tau y x times dou u by dou y. So, this way you will have all these terms multiplied by uh, the, these x, uh, stress term multiplied by these uh, dou u by dou y and dou uh, so, that way these terminologies will come uh, alongside here and then you will have surf S i. So, so, this way you will have, so that is why you, we have written the expression for dou uh, d i by d t and you have rho dive u dive k grad t. So, that for that you just understanding for the uh, you have uh, here for the dive of k grad t and this term was uh, here. So, if you put that in, in this term you will be getting uh, you know this uh, term and uh, this phi was uh, uh, will be uh, uh, coming like this. So, this is about uh, the Neville Stokes equation uh, which uh, will be solved uh, normally we solve uh, with the uh, proper boundary conditions and uh, then you have solution methodology which is adopted and uh, then uh, we uh, get the uh, proper value of output parameters that we will see in our coming lectures. Thank you very much.